Brad here. Hope you enjoy this new time attack series that I'm going to do at the 24 hour Le Mans. I'm going to do a bunch of cars. Up first is going to be this Nismo GTR with 800 horsepower. It does have a little under 800 pp, which is where I'm going to try and stay. I'm going to try and max out at 800. Um, this should be a fun one. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a bunch of different cars. Um, Supercars, JDM, American, European. Uh, it's going to be fun. I am repping the Nismo livery on this one. I thought it'd be, be nice. I do like this purple. It's not midnight purple, but... It is a satin purple, and depending on how the light hits it, it does uh, does change color a little bit. So in this time attack, there are no no engine swaps. Um, this is the setup that I did, set suspension, all that. Um, if you guys want me to leave these in. In the new time attack format that I'm going to do, I am going to show these. I will test them on a track before I actually go and race them at the 24 hour Le Mans just to see the setup that I like handling wise and stuff. Um, even with this setup, this was the best one I could come up with. It was still hard to control under hard braking. Um, the back end just wanted to slide out. And so, yeah, if you guys uh, want me to leave them in, I can leave them in. You guys can try them out yourself. Here's another photo that I took. I do like Gran Turismo's photo mode. Pretty cool. Right here in this corner, it's just back in wants to slide out. A little hard, but it was fun. Interesting to see how all the cars stack up. This car was pretty fast. Um, I only did, I'm only going to do two laps per, per session, so I do know this track fairly well. Um, so that shouldn't be an issue, but I just want to see out of two laps. You can set the fastest lap. Uh, I will release those videos probably every Friday with a new vehicle in this new format. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can uh, get those updates whenever they, they release on Friday. This should be interesting. This track is pretty good. It does have like these long straights does have some tight turns so it should really be able to test the cars does sound pretty good. This is one of those situations up here at the corner where the back end just wanted to come out. It's hard braking. Also trying to turn in and back end just slides out. But somewhat easy to control and handle because it's all-wheel drive.
curious which car is going to be the fastest, go ahead and leave a comment what street car in the game you think will be the fastest or which cars you would like to see. I have an idea of which ones I'm going to do. But if there's one before that you guys would like, just go ahead and leave a comment and then I'll do those. Do those cars first. There are some cars that I'd like to do, but I haven't unlocked yet because of this stupid system. Like, I don't have the Bugatti yet. I don't have the Pagani. It was a good lap. It's pretty fast. Here's another picture. I really do like these pictures. If you guys like me throwing these in this video, let me know. But we're in a pretty good 338.07. We'll have to see how that holds up in the series. I'm sure there's going to be some cars faster, but. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.